get some the of the fine talent that performed on this stage all during the week. Happily for us, there is so much talent in this pageant that the Miss America Scholarship Foundation, again, this year will give special $2,000 scholarship awards to eight non-finalist talent winners who were selected by our judges from those non-finalists who scored highest in the preliminary talent competition. They are Miss Arkansas Regina Hopper. <laughs> Miss Idaho Elaine Pack. <laughs> Miss Kansas Laurel Lynn Waters. <laughs> Miss Louisiana Miriam Gauthier. Miss Massachusetts, Holly Mayer. <laughs> Miss Oregon, Stephanie Jill Weimer. <laughs> Miss Tennessee, Moira Alice Kay. <laughs> and Miss Utah, Lynn Lambert. The excitement continues as we await the crowning of a new Miss America, but now we've come to that moment of mixed emotions. It's the time when the rain ends for the Miss America who made us all so proud this past year. Debbie Maffitt has had a fantastically successful year. She was and is a great Miss America. She's met some of the most famous people in the world. She was a guest in the White House. She performed with Bob Hope. But most important, she met and was seen by millions of Americans who were truly impressed. As she takes her final walk and says goodbye, we'll see just a few of her memories. Ladies and gentlemen, Deborah Maffitt, Miss America, 1983. <laughs> forward to and I do have a couple of things I'd like to say how do I feel excited because it's been a special year I'm excited about what's around the corner I've learned a lot of new things this year about myself about life and about the media <laughs> the media but I'm a little sad too because like graduation this is a goodbye to a phase of my life to my family to my friends to everybody everywhere who's been so kind, this is from the heart. I love you. Thank you. more about a young girl's future from American Greetings. Completed and the judges have made their final choices. The ballots are being counted and the question is which of these beautiful and talented 10 finalists will wear the crown of Miss America 1984. While we're being held in suspense, let's take one last look at our 10 finalists. Susan? Miss New Jersey, Suzette Charles. Suzette's a junior at Temple University, where she's studying theater and voice. She dreams of a drama degree at Yale and the London Royal Academy. Dana Rogers, Miss Texas. Dana is already producing and directing television shows, and after receiving her degree in communications, she'd like to produce major motion pictures. Miss Kentucky, Lynn Whitney Thompson. Lynn's an accomplished pianist and dancer. She writes romantic fiction and has done a lot of professional modeling.
Miss Missouri, Barbara Webster. Barbara's had special violin training for 12 years and played with country groups to symphonies. But despite the call of the bluegrass, she wants a career in sales. Miss Ohio, Pamela Helene Regas. Pamela's well on her way to that law degree she seeks. Cum laude graduate of Troy State, she made the president's list, but still had time to be their homecoming queen. Miss Mississippi, Wanda Gale Getty. Wanda wants a graduate degree in communications and musical performance. She was on the president's list at college and had the lead in many Gulf Coast opera productions. Miss Nebraska, Kristen Lee Lowenberg. Kristen wants to become a broadcast journalist, a member of a television news team. She does creative writing and choreographs children's theater. Miss Florida, Kimberly Boyce. Kimberly's been singing publicly since she was nine. She graduated college with honors and has been a producer and television newscaster. She wants to major in broadcast production. Miss Alabama, Pam Battles. Pam's been at the piano for 17 years and she plays the pipe organ. She's also a singer and a fashion model. She wants a degree in mathematics and applied music. And Miss New York, Vanessa Williams. to singing. She's an accomplished French horn player, pianist, and dancer. And you can find her in Who's Who in American Music. We're 60 seconds away from meeting Miss America 1984. Now there's a shampoo that replenishes your hair's natural oils. New Meet Different Shampoo. It's been go for it. And you'll agree, these young women have given it everything. Now, Miss America 1984 is about to be named. May I have the judge's decision, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fourth runner-up and winner of a $5,000 scholarship is Pamela Helene Regas, Miss Ohio. <laughs> the third runner-up and winner of a $7,000 scholarship is Wanda Gale Getty, Miss Mississippi. The second runner-up and winner of a $10,000 scholarship is Pam Battles, Miss Alabama. The first runner-up and winner of a $15,000 scholarship is Suzette Charles, Miss New Jersey. Six of the brightest and loveliest young women in America are standing on our stage. One of them will be the new Miss America and the winner of a $25,000 scholarship. And our new Miss America is Vanessa Williams, Miss New York. America.
This America pageant has been brought to you by McDonald's, where it's fun to be together, McDonald's and you. And by the Nestle Company. Nestle makes the very best. And by American Greetings and the more than 50,000 stores that sell American Greetings products. And by Mink Difference Replenishing Shampoo. It puts back the precious oils nature takes away. This is Bill Wendell.